How many from there? One, two, three, so, three, so, so seven plus three. Okay, put this, put this down from seven to three. Seven plus three equals ten. Oh, look at that. Most of these quick images you will be seeing will be shown in the following video. This video is an introduction to the fun way to learn math using number wheels, where kids play on number wheels like these kids and learn basic fundamentals of counting, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, squares, fractions, and more. Watch Tom Bizon's Mr. Numbers show you this playful and powerful approach to math. There are many more videos on number wheels, and Mr. Numbers also has books and ebooks and does interactive webinars to share this with you. Click the link on the side to learn more. Oh, or go to MrNumbers.com. A lot of kids say things like, I don't like math. I don't get math. I don't have a math head. I hate math. And it, it's sad for them, but actually for their parents and for uh, adults who care about them and for teachers, it's even sadder because they see the bigger picture where these kids will be affected all their lives by their attitude about math, their ability to do math, and how it works. What I do is a very visual and movement-based approach to seeing how numbers work because it's really understanding numbers and getting comfortable with them that kids need to do. The attitude is the most important thing there is. So what I play with are number wheels. Now, what on earth is a number wheel? We have number lines, right? Not a lot. Numbers go in straight lines, one, two, three, and it goes into billions. Well, it's uncontrollable. <laughs> and it scares kids to see you know, numbers that big. So. I want to show you a number wheel that you are comfortable with. That is a number wheel. And I actually use this number wheel a lot of times for fractions because you can do quarters and thirds and all kinds of things with a clock number wheel. The number's 1 to 12 like that. But that's too many. I like to have it simple. So what I do is I just take the numbers from 0 to 10 and I wrap them in a circle. And that becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And when you go past 9, you go to 10. And 10 is not a digit. It's not one of the 10 digits. 0 is the digit. When we get to 10, 10 is two digits. It's a 1 and a 0. So all we need are 0 to 9. That's all we need. And when we do this, I have played with this for 10 years. And it just keeps getting richer and more fun and more playful and amazing to me and to kids and to adults who say, I wish I would have been taught this way when I was a kid. So I'm trying to reach kids before they get to that stage where they do that. So here is a simple number wheel. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5 is halfway around. If you have, if you got one of those uh, small ones, one thing you can do with that is just draw a line from 0 to 5 because that is the heart of the number wheel. 5 and 10, right? We used to have 5 and 10 cent stores. It was like nickel and dime. It relates to real world learning to do that, to do that. 10 is the, we have 10 digits. It's just so crucial to know 10, to see 10, to know that I'll get into that a little bit about, about how important 10 can be. And it gets really complex because all those patterns start showing up. Now this is a really small version of a mat that I have put on the floor that kids literally run around and they experience numbers. Because it's movement. If kids experience numbers by seeing it, by moving, by jumping, uh, they really have a, a good time with it. And all this makes sense, but don't pay any attention to all that sort of stuff right now. And all through this, you're going to start getting questions about this. I'm going to invite you all to the webinar I'm doing, so you can do all you want. And at the end of each webinar that I do, it's a whole series of webinars, 
the end of each one, there'll be a question and answer. So after this talk today and after the webinar, I will answer questions if anybody wants to know anything on it. Now, how do you get past 10? Right? It just goes to 10. Well, you'd have a second wheel. And so what I do is when kids go around the wheel, around the wheel on the floor, I give them a 10. And they take it over to this wheel and they stick it with the old uh, post-it onto the second wheel. So this is like they've gone around 60 and another kid is going around to, to create 70. So they're having great fun playing and kids love to go around in circles. I sometimes have five kids at the same time going around in circles and they'll keep going and I'll keep counting and, and they just absolutely love it. So you can do like the mileage gauge or the there was actually a uh, gas gauge on that one thing that I didn't show you all of, but it, it's a series of number wheels. And that's how we use a lot of gauges. A lot of ways we keep track of numbers is a series of number wheels. When it gets to nine, like when this one gets to 10, this one goes to five. It just clicks one up for moving one up. And that's how it works. And it's a great learning for how numbers work. And it teaches place value and it teaches all kinds of other things. So if you want with those ones that uh, you got, the numbers next to zero and five, if you connect those numbers next to zero and five, it's one and four and six and nine. And it actually creates a box in a circle, a rectangle in a circle. And I think it's really interesting, you know, to, to do circles and rectangles, you're learning geometry as well. And the numbers away from zero and five are seven and eight and two and three. You can do a box with those. With boxes and, and circles. It's really fun for kids. They really love that. I'll just show you a couple other. This is chalk <laughs> with a string. So you take a piece of chalk, sidewalk chalk, with a piece of string, you hold it, mark your center, you go around and you make a perfect circle with it, and you make a zero and five and create the numbers and it's great fun for kids to learn how to do this. This is another version of it where I think of, of like kids doing stepping stones going around. So this is all water so they have to be very careful to go on inter, <laughs> integers <laughs> number to number and, not, and, and what's in between is fractions and all kinds of other things. So you can just kind of play with all, re, all kinds of realities with it. This one is the center circle of a basketball court mm. on, in the middle of a, a thing and it has a center line in it as well. So that's zero and five. And then the whole figuring out, estimating where all those numbers go and figuring out ways to do that are great experiences for kids to figure out how to do that. By the way, we were talking about the, uh, the floor one. There is a floor number wheel, which would go down on the floor and kids would go around it and just love to play and have a great time uh, doing it. And as a matter of fact, sometimes I will set out 10 pieces of paper with the numbers one, you know, zero to nine in a big circle. And then they get the math frisbee. <laughs> And they throw it from number to number and call it and have. So it's great for fun and games. They also can throw a frog <laughs> number to number. So there's great fun. The bigger the numbers, the more playful it is. And literally, I, I've had people talk about it as playground math. And I love that because the kids learn much better outside than they do inside uh, for doing it. It's like hands on, feet on, right? <laughs> you want to have as many ways of doing it. This is another one where this is like knobs. I actually created this with a 3D printer. I designed it on my computer and went down to the Santa Barbara Library and they created it for me. I also did some smaller versions of that. And you can do addition patterns, you can do multiplication patterns, all kinds of stuff with it. Number wheels can be fancy or simple. This is like a flow chart because you can do basic counting, and I find I'm really fascinated with just basic counting, kids getting a foundation of math. It's so important that they understand how math works. 
And, and playing with number wheel is a great way for them to understand place value and numbers and 10 and the digits and everything else. And that leads directly into addition, and addition leads to subtraction. And actually, you can go right from counting to multiplication. And you can also go from, and then you can go all down to uh, squares and division and all kinds of negative numbers, all kinds of other stuff. So here is addition on a number wheel. And you just go zero and, this is zero, it's also 10. Zero and 10 are 10. The next numbers down are nine and one. <laughs> Horizontal, they also equal 10. Next numbers down are eight and two. They equal 10. Next numbers down are seven and three. They equal 10. Six and four, the five's all by itself. What are we gonna do with five? It's all by itself. Double it, <laughs> add it to itself. All kinds of ways to creatively come up with five and five are 10. Well, great. And that actually works for all numbers. So there are all of them, the parallel lines, create the, add up to the same number. And it's actually a one up, one down is what happens when you go on the wheel on the parallel lines. It's really fascinating. Um, and I'd love to show you more <laughs> later on it. This is like, like zero and five is halfway around the wheel. So if you go from zero to five, 5, 10, 15, 20, I call it the yo-yo, right? You go up and down, 15, 20. But you can also go from any other number. One, halfway around is a nickel plus one is six. And then you go around back up to 11, or 10, one, I call it. All kinds of ways to play with jumping by fives. Jumping by twos, threes, fours, and fives. It's great fun for kids, and they love to do it. Just some other patterns that sort of show up. I'll just kind of show you a couple of these because um, it's great stuff. I have a different wheel for subtraction. There is, these are just the, some of the patterns that show up for multiplication on a number wheel. Stars and stun bursts and uh, pentagons and decagons and all kinds of stuff. This is both addition and multiplication, both on that same wheel. Those numbers show both. I'll show you that later. <laughs> Going around this way is the way we normally go. If we go this way, we're actually doing one away from 10, two away from 10, three away from 10, four away from 10. And those numbers all add up nine and one, eight and two, seven, three, add up to 10. They're also the negative numbers to go around that way. So then you get into that. It's just amazing. This is fractions. Yeah, actually, those nickel jumps are all fractions. It divides, this is six pieces of the pie. Six out of 10 pieces of the pie, that's fractions. Percents, decimals, dimes. You can see how you tie it. You, the number wheels are able to link all kinds of daily things that you learn with math, with numbers, so you tie it all together. This is actually squares of numbers. The patterns, the ones digits in all squares follow that end pattern. It's, it's really fascinating to learn as kids get older, it just keeps, they use one structure, the number wheel, and it just it ties everything together for kids all the way through. This is just kind of, I'm ending with puzzles because kids love puzzles and a lot of this actually, kids are always anticipating what comes next. And so it's really great for them to figure out what's the next number that's coming. And uh, so I cut these up and kids put them together and have great fun figuring out, oh, these are the, you know, that's the, um, that's the twelves. That one right there is the twelves, and they're putting those together and having great fun with that. So I hope that I've piqued your interest, that you're really curious. I hope that you can check in when I do the webinar, and I'm glad to answer any questions anytime uh, to take it further, because it, this could be a week or more of, of information here. I wanted to give a great overview. Thank you. Thank you.